So we begin anime or inside the box with um, Advent Children, which as you can see I've got three copies of. I bought this one first. It's a two disc special edition. And at a certain point I came to learn that uh, you know, as many special features as there are this on disc two of this, that uh, the limited collection the limited edition collector's version had something I actually wanted, and it probably says it back here so that I can remember the name. Last Order. But since this first, it looked like the first discs for both of these were the same, so I've um, left those alone. But as you can see, it looks like it has the same thing in there, but the discs look pretty different. I think the first disc content may be the same, but the second one was different, so I've kept both versions. Now, I don't know if I've ever looked at these. We've got a script. Hmm. We've got a novel. And then we've got an unopened thing of postcards. Doesn't feel resealable like the other thing, so I kind of don't want to open it. If I ever do, it will be on camera, I guess, but for now. I'm accepting those. And then, of course, I later started collecting Blu-rays and picked up the Blu-ray version, which has one of these stupid tabs on the side. I don't remember what specials it has. Maybe it doesn't have any. But then again, I think it also has more uh, video. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Um, it looks like oh, all the versions... Well, the limited edition collector set and the Blu-ray version are probably the two to have, maybe. And of course, on Final Fantasy movies, there's also Spirits Within. This one says it's a special edition. I'm not sure if there's any that are not. But, you know, technically this was um, animated in Japan, and I think it was supposed to have a worldwide release. And I think it's generally considered anime, because you can find it on anime databases sometimes, usually, all the time. I don't remember. I should have checked before doing the update, but oh well. And then finally, I've got a Final Fantasy Unlimited. This isn't all the Final Fantasy animated stuff there is, but as far as I know, this is all that's been released on DVD. I did originally begin by collecting... I, I had the first DVD of this as the, an individual, and I later came back and bought this thin DVD box set instead. For no specific reason other than, uh, well, at the time that's how I bought anime. And, you know, looking back on it, it's an okay series. The real problem with it is that the pacing feels wrong, and I realized that the reason the pacing feels wrong I think it was originally slated to be a 50-something episode release. They probably found out that they were not going to be able to finish it all. So they did a... So they kind of rushed the ending, I guess. Then again, I'm wondering I wonder how much of that is rumor that I just keep remembering as more factual than it actually is. Oh well, I don't know. It doesn't really matter too much. And next up, uh, Street Fighter stuff. So we've got a Street Fighter complete with the Best Buy sticker. So you can see I paid $25 for this two-disc special edition of Street Fighter, which has Street Fighter Alpha and Street Fighter Alpha Generations. I don't remember the content too well. Then we've got Street Fighter 2, the animated movie. it's a double-sided disc and you can see Emmett 
in there. If you don't know me as Kicker Frost. First name, whatever. And then we got Street Fighter 2 V. If I bought this used, then maybe it's missing an outer sleeve, which holds it together more. But it doesn't matter. But we do have a poster here. And this does seem much more re relevant to uh, Street Fighter concepts in general, maybe. But I've only watched part of the way into the first disc. I was watching it with a friend. And we kind of had to stop because we were laughing too hard. It was being a... It seems to be intentionally, ambiguously gay duo-ish. Which was rather unexpected. And because we were kind of joking about it being like that going into it. So it's nice that it delivered. Just never got around to finishing it. Oh well. The, the next is the last series. But it's a pretty long thing to show. And that's uh, the Oh My Goddess stuff. Which begins with... Oh My Goddess, which is the translation for the very first OVA series. But I believe the A uh is more, effic more um, official. We've got the Oh My Goddess movie. And an interesting thing about this is I realized that up till now... I've had this sleeve, which appears to be an official sleeve according to Amazon, and I've had this disc, which by all appearances appears to be an official disc, but the case on the inside had been something else, so that, oh my goddess, I've received uh, last week, I actually took its case and combined it with my sleeve, because that one didn't have a sleeve, to um, recreate what was probably the original release of the Oh My Goddess movie. Which makes me wonder exactly what I got, but... You know, what, what I had last time. But it's okay. It would have been something that eventually I would have probably worried about in the first place. Then we've got a, the Mini Goddess Complete Collection. Which is a collection of the three Mini Goddess things. And a plastic thing... Which is fairly uh, unusual. Mini Goddess was a fun series, if I remember right. Hmm. I guess this poster's on the inside. Probably worthwhile to go through them. fourth and final disc and of course by process of elimination it should be schooled in this one and putting those to the side because after that comes the much uh, bigger release the um, oh my goddess TV series we got the first one released by Anime Works. Hmm. And this is uh, the first 26 episode season. It was really interesting to see this series get revived. And 
there's actually inserts in this one. Although they look like the standard anime works uh, advertisements. Maybe more accurate to say Media Blasters, but Anime Works is the title they released under. The, the, it's the label they release under here in the US for their non hentai anime works. Well, that's a weird way of putting it. And then we've got uh, the ADV release of the second season. Oh my god, it's Flights of Fancy. Yeah, it's a very strange release. Looks like the discs look like the covers, so I'll just keep things nice and simple. And the sixth and the final one. And there we go. That finishes inside the box.